What's up, y'all? My name is Jennifer, but you can call me the Black Kagome. And today we are about to get into episode two of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. The first episode was super duper funny. Dude threw his freaking lace wig at me out of nowhere, and I was not expecting that. And then <laughs> Phoenix's face when he threw it was freaking priceless. But y'all, we're about to get into this funny ass game. So without further ado, let's go. Bring. Bring beep. <laughs> Not me trying to do the sound effects. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Or Mia. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. I don't know if I'm doing a guy's voice or a girl's voice. Okay, so Mia. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for- Ooh. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. Ooh. So, hmm. So, this person sounds suspicious. Okay. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. So is this going to be connected to the first trial? I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Oh, freak. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm not a little girl. Oh, it's, it is a girl. Okay. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. So it's her sister. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ugh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside. Instead. In, in it instead. I guess I read that right. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's possibly, there's possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pretrial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner something, something good. Like, burgers? I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep. <laughs> Ooh, the conversation was recorded? That was recorded the whole- well- Ooh. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye Co. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Alright. Uh, I don't know what voice to do. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what you don't have. Or what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed the papers. How could you know? H huh? Are you not cogniferous of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho <laughs> ho. 
My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Oh, she got murdered. Do it again? Oh, no, this is somebody else. He got purple hair and a pink suit. Red, white, blue. Ooh. We already killing people. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Faye and Cole Law Offices. Oh my god, our first murder already! Uh-oh, I'm late. Oh, it's Phoenix, okay. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Ugh, what's that smell? Oh man, is that the dead body? Blood. <gasps> Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine, move. Examine. So let's just go back. Office. That smell. Blood. Ooh. Sub. <laughs> Sis. Someone's there. Chief! 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 Oh, man. Who are you? That strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I can feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Aww. Chief Famine, the thinker. It's encrusted with dry blood. How ironic that this, how ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Yeah, right? Is this a broken lamp? Some shards of glass are shattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of the glass light stand. <clears throat> Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker, the murder weapon looks like a. St okay, I already read that. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the, the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm, a piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt added, receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. 
and find out what that girl was doing here. Slide. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Ooh, the phone. Right! I better call the police. <laughs> That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver is missing. Are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through talk taking it apart. Please come quickly. What? What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me! Oh, that's Phoenix talking. She's holding a phone in her hand. Oh, is she- Oh! Is she calling the police on him? Wait, 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 what? There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. I don't think- is there anything else out here? That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya? Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Examine move talk present. What happened? You and the chief. So, you're the chief's sister? I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, I- it was the clock. It was the thinker. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in the room. I came in. The room was dark. And sis, sis... So she was already dead? Um... Court record back option. Before Maya died, or before, <laughs> before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. The, the that's my name. Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! FBI, open up! Gunshoe? Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gunshoe. See? <laughs> Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. 
It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Nah, see? Great, just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. What? Excuse me. Eek. This word Maya here means anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? <laughs> the evidence drew this here note in her own... Wait. <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her own blood. See? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. It doesn't work like that, sir. What? What? Doesn't work like that, gum shoe. Put some gum on your shoe. All right. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning. Oh, my dog. Sorry. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center visitor's room. Phoenix. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. Of course I will. Sorry, not a chance. Of course. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I'll be. Or of course I will. Cheer up. R really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Aww. Did I look at her like that? Did you, Phoenix? Did you look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. I... It's okay, I understand. And... I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what? About me. I I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, what'd she say? Alright. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Oh, she's telling her about Aw. Okay. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so, he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike- wait, one of those strike fear into the heart of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Aww. Huh, sounds like it was- sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That's it, unless you want to be found guilty. Aww. So she really had hope in him. That's what she said. 
Oh. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of a person who did this to Maya... I know. Maya, the day of the crime. There's something I've been wanting to ask you- Oh, this is Phoenix. Okay. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with the outfit? Oh, this? This is what all- Oculus? I hope I'm saying that right. This is what all Oculus wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, Oculus? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> the day of the crime, spirit mediums. So you're an Oculus, a medium in training? That's right. The family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Okay. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into that stuff too? Or into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Day of the murder, or the day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold onto a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Mm, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Oh, okay, so she recorded it. Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. Right, okay. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Alright, your cell phone. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remember that detective took myself- Ah, gumshoe, you ass! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Maya's memo, a conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cellular device. So, right. Hmm. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Okay. <laughs> this is the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? 
Hmm. Accept, refuse. I will accept. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Hmm. Say, what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial is tomorrow at 10. What? what? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if, what if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up and I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. The day of the crime. One more, okay. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's a thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murder a serial murderer by now. Yeah, it does. So then when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Th then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. All right, so that's everything. That's all the conversations. Um, move. Ghostburg Law Offices. All right, so we're gonna go here. <clears throat> September 6th, Faye and Cole Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching the they're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! Oh god. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. I'm sorry, I don't I know you. You, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? What? <laughs> no, no, Phoenix right. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Right. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? Nah. He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe. Right. At your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. Be right there. <laughs> oh, God. Um, hmm. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Examine, move, talk, present. Mia. About Miss Faye, did you do any autopsy? Or did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. 
It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Yeah. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Yeah. Autopsy report added to the court records. <laughs> okay. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Oh, don't be so sure. Um, w why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. I got my hand on my hip. <laughs> Edgewater? Or Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Edgeworth. I said Edgewater before. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. Of course not. I'm gonna act like I know him. Um, okay, so of course I do. I, I don't know if I made the right choice. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at that incredibly young age of 20. Wow. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that the Edgeworth, the Edgeworth hate, is that the Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I have the fattest tongue and I can't read. I never imagined I'll be facing him so soon. Okay, so. <clears throat> Examine, move, talk, present. What should I present to him? <clears throat> so, a conversation I have with my sister. Should I show him that? Did he see this? I don't know if he's seen this. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, that one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Or Maya wrote it. Okay. The broken remains of glass light. Okay, let's show him this. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim... Next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Can I have it? Did you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight, tell him not so straight. I'm gonna tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh no, it's just, you know, <laughs> detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, you, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. They're quite the detective. You're quite the detective. Uh-oh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back.
There weren't any suspicious call records on there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Oh, you suck as a detective. How the hell? All right. My cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court records to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway. You'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. <laughs> Alright, come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Right, what's what's her deal? Um, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. But I can but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already then? <laughs> You're trying your loyalty tricks on me now. This dude is a freaking meatball. <laughs> All right, she's not, she's, okay, calm down. <laughs> she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way? I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. <clears throat> According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when she'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Mmm, let's, let's move. Let's go see that girl. September 6th, Gateway, or Gatewater Hotel, room 303. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Well, hello there, hence. Um, hi. Okay. Smooth ride, real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say. <laughs> Memo to self, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. This is, this is all like something out of a movie. It's also like something I can hardly contain myself. Oh, go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. Okay, what is this? What's sticking out of here? What's that? There's a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. <laughs> what are you doing? No touching. Oh, big boy. You, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's room now, huh? You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Oh, this girl is crazy. Upset? I thought she was going to explore for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. What are you hiding, ma'am? Right. Um, let's talk. What you witnessed? All right. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Inst you sound just like a lawyer in movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Mm -hmm. She's trying to distract him with her beauty. 
Better not encourage her. <laughs> or, you know, that thing that occur, um, happened the other day. The bad thing. <laughs> what did you see <laughs> when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let's see. Well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> oh boy. Miss May. Um, could you just... Wait. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer? Are you hitting on me? N no! Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> oh, you're cute when you blush. <laughs> Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Oh, no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. This room, okay. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? What an amazing power of observation! Must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, oh no, not me. I'm just a lawyer and doing my job. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh boy. All right, this girl is sneaky and she's rubbing me the wrong way. So, I wonder if she'll let me examine. No clues here. The flowers are fake as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the, the extent of my floral knowledge. Um, okay, uh, there's nothing here. Let's see if she- Hmm, what's inside? I wonder. Cough, cough! Oh. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> um, is there anything behind this painting, ma'am? Still seen painting, wait, should that be still life? Whatever one of those is hanging on the wall. All right, um, okay. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Okay, hopefully he's in his office. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Ghostberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Uh, hmm. If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Who is a thick boy, all right? <clears> hmm, <throat> so you're the one they say has been looking for me. Um, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that batch. On your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm. Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Uh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm, why the strange reaction? 
Uh, ch ch <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Um... Uh, anyway... I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? <laughs> Why did he refuse so quickly like that? Your refusal. Alright, let's find out. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm. <laughs> well, you see, it's just... <laughs> um, I'm busy, you see? <laughs> but the client is Mia Faye's sister. Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She know... She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. <clears throat> Think not. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that, that no lawyer worth their salt would take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now, I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Everybody's acting weird. How do you know Mia Faye? Or Maya. Mia. Uh, Grossberg. She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burned passion. Never looked back that one. That's quite a painting. Ah ha! You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? <laughs> the color of the sky, the hue, the sea. Wait. Get it right. The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. <laughs> it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Relax, buddy. Relax. I don't want it. Alright, September the 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see? Just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He... he didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What? Oh, really? <laughs> really, Phoenix? Okay. Hmm. What really happened? Uh, you don't mean he refused to help- Oh my god, Phoenix, you're a horrible liar. Urgh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh. All right, talk to her. Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. 
And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive. Your mother. The woman in your family... Oh. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of... They say a lot of spiritual powers run in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident where there was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? <clears throat> yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become an independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself, up in those mountains, up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So, who was that man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? <clears throat> the police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Well, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the, of the nation. I see. What? Excuse me? What? That was his name, my sister told me. What? Hmm. Just a little longer now, before the state appoints a lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. Oh. What should I do? Do I just leave her or go home? I'm gonna defend her. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you, whether you want me to or not. <gasps> Why? Why? Well, I can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. I can't abandon you. Oh, no one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for their people who have no one on their side. Maya? I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Nice. It's nice. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. <laughs> Thank you. She smiled at least. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. Are you you are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Oh, this lady? Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look in it was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. <coughs> 
All right. So... Looks like Detective Gumshoe has gone home. The police are still keeping themselves keeping themselves busy in the chief's office. No one has time to talk to me. Guess I'll head out. Examine move. Where are we moving to? Oh, hello there. Bellboy. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me? You are? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of the establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just came up to deliver fruit. I've just came up to deliver room service, sir. <laughs> um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe our guest May is currently using the uh, facilities. Okay. If you no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now my chance to snoop around. Okay, let's do it. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Gah! You, you came back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? Um, Mia, or Maya, the sister. Mm-hmm. White. That was his name. My sister told me. Yep. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Examine. Let's do it! Alright. There's a screwdriver sticking out. Now my chance to see what's inside. Why did it get quiet? Is this bitch gonna pop up out of nowhere? What do you have here? Or what do we have here? Oh, a wiretap, huh? What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? All right, wiretap added to the court record. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman- Wait, I'll get to this woman's bot- Wait, what? I'll get to this woman's bottom? Wait, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know who's tripping, like, what? <laughs> okay, it's her. Still there? Uh oh, time to scram. In court. Tangoing. Tangoing? To be continued. Alright. Save your progress up to this point. Absolutely. Oh, that was it. All right, guys. Well, that was episode two. We are going to get into episode three. I guess we're going to trial in episode three and we are going to take Miss April May down. You're going down because you're suspicious and I don't trust you. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one because she's going down. Bye.